Hello, this is a, a short video to try to help anyone who's got a German Shepherd with uh, hip dysplasia, bad hips. Uh, this is our nine-year-old German Shepherd. Name is Duke. And uh, this hip dysplasia came on really quite rapidly. Uh, we started noticing just a little bit of uh, uh, oddities in his back legs uh, about six or seven months ago, and it stayed pretty much the same. There wasn't much uh, much change. Just kind of a uh, it just kind of noticed it uh, as we were walking behind him uh, that his uh, legs were just kind of functioning differently, but uh, it didn't. Uh, didn't deteriorate uh, for some time and then uh, here about oh three or four months ago it started to get worse and uh, it got progressively worse as uh, as the weeks went on and uh, worse quite rapidly actually and uh, what you see on the video now uh, occurred probably within a, a three-week period of him being able to walk just fine with just kind of a just kind of a hint to uh, what you're seeing right now uh, which is uh, he just totally couldn't walk uh, for any distance at all uh, he started uh, uh, not wanting to go outside because he couldn't walk it was exhausting his uh, he was really exhausted when he went outside, and uh, before long, he was uh, he was going to the bathroom on himself, and and uh, it uh, it just wasn't a pretty picture, and uh, seemed like he was getting rather depressed as well. So his uh, what we notice first of all, you see here his claws. Uh, he started dragging his rear feet. We didn't really notice it too much, but uh, we started noticing that his claws were worn down. And uh, we thought, what in the heck is going on there? And that, uh, that's what really alerted us to the fact that uh, something was, uh, was happening and uh, something imminent was, uh, was at hand. Call him over towards you a little bit more. So, as you can see here, he, uh, those back hips, they just, just didn't work so we bought him one of these uh, wheelchairs I guess we call it a wheelchair and uh, it worked for him for a while he uh, he seemed to get around but uh, again once we took him off of it uh, he just couldn't get around and again he was uh, he was going to the bathroom in the house and going to the bathroom on himself because he couldn't uh, he couldn't get around but, uh, when he was attached to this thing, uh, he was able to use his front legs to, to bring him, uh, to bring him uh, wherever he wanted to go, but uh, had to put his back legs in a sling like that so they wouldn't drag and wear his toenails or his claws uh, any further. And uh, at first he wanted to, he wanted to kind of use them to, to push, but he got used to, uh, he got used to not using them when he was in the wheelchair. But what we discovered in the wheelchair that uh, was interesting, he uh, once he once we took him out of the wheelchair, uh, he his legs were really lazy and he didn't want to he didn't want to try to use them at all, and he'd just pull himself around because uh, see it was right here you can see where he's trying to use them, okay. but uh, once he got done with the walk. Uh, he just, his legs just got lazy and uh, couldn't use them at all. So, unfortunately, uh, we only had, uh, we only used this wheelchair for maybe two weeks. And uh, he just got progressively, progressively worse. And uh, uh, after his walk, we... We took him to Dairy Queen and gave him an ice cream cone.
He was a great dog. German Shepherds are one of the best. Just love them. Hope this helps.